Recording. We're in Malaysia and we're going to be trying viral Heidi Lau hot pot hacks. We're going to start with the first hack, which is congee. You just have to get a serving of rice and you're going to dump it in the soup and then you just stir it around forever. So we're going to do it in the golden fish ma soup. Have you heard that Chinese superstition where if you leave your bowl dirty, then you'll get pimples? So I think it's your wife will get pimples. What? We think the kanji is ready. It's been in there for over an hour now. Okay, okay. Yep. It definitely expanded, so it did its thing. Oh yeah, that, that is porridge. But here's the thing. I really like the original texture of the Heidi Lao rice. Feels like we're ruining the rice because the rice here is like elite. The best rice I've ever tasted, so try your own discretion. Hello everybody. <laughs> Yeah, right? Here. It really spoiled the rice, like you said. <laughs> if you just put the soup on top of the rice, you get all the flavors of the soup and then you get the nice texture of the rice. So I would prefer just eating it that way. Yeah, pretty much what they said. Unless you're like an old person, I wouldn't do that. Heidi Lao hack number two, we're gonna do this tomato egg drop type of soup. So we order an egg, crack it, we're gonna mix up this egg. See the skills. And the whisket, the chopstick seal. Pretty good, pretty good. Not bad. Pretty, pretty, okay, I see the momentum of Super ball. solid. So now we grab a slotted spoon. And then do you wanna pour it in? And what does it look like? Is it coming through? Nice, okay. Get the spoon under. Okay, okay. And mix up the okay, soup okay. a little bit. And look at that. Beautiful. The tomato soup itself is already so good, so I can't imagine this hack tasting bad. Mm. Mm. The egg is very silky, but because the tomato soup is so strong, it really is more of a texture you're adding into the soup. Yeah. I think if you had like three eggs, it'd be, it'd be a lot better. I knew he would want more eggs. So no, yeah. it's the ratio's <laughs> off, you know? Usually yeah. when I'm seeing people do it, it's like a, a quarter pot, so. We're gonna get a bean curd skin. We're gonna wrap up beef and palm paste in here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook it for a quick second, just so it's soft. I'm gonna lay it on my plate, and then I'm gonna roll it out. I'm just gonna use one and layer it up because this is kind of long and also very thin. Yeah. Okay, that okay, that's good. good. That looks good. In here, we're gonna grab a piece of beef. And let's just... I don't really want to use my hands. I'll, I'll do it. All right, all right. No chopstick skills on I this one. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> this looks really good so far. We're gonna take the prime paste and we're just gonna squeeze a line across like that. Thank you. See, this is why Rachel's here. <laughs> Some good sous support, chef support. moments. Do you okay. Then, that out? Yeah, you want to yeah. plan it out. It's a team effort. How many people does it take to do a Haya hot pot hack? Um, I'm just gonna cook my chopstick for a sec because it touched a lot of raw, yes, raw materials. So we're gonna roll it back up. This is a professional roll here. <laughs> What's the cook time, chef? <laughs> Whatever your heart desires. Let's use a spoon and kind of let it rest on the spoon there so we don't lose it and it doesn't yeah. just... Look at this technique. You want to sink it down? Wow, this is this is that's fun. amazing. You learn something new every day. So chef, how are we cooking this? <laughs> <laughs> My heart says it's not ready. Oh, okay, we're flipping it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's actually crazy. It honestly looks thick. It looks like a burrito. <laughs> Take oh. a bite and let's see the cross section. It's heavy. Mmm. It's really good. I like everything that's in this, so obviously it's gonna taste good, but it doesn't feel like they added much to each other. I'm just eating three oh, things good. together oh. in one bite. It is good though. It's not fully cooked, but it's cooked enough. <laughs> so we're doing the Korean marinated quail egg. I think you need soy sauce, sesame oil, sesame seeds, green onion, and garlic. Probably need a lot of soy sauce because that's going to be the base. And then everything else is just like aromatics. There are no measurements, so we're just going to do this by heart. Uh, green onion. I really like green. 
almost spilled the whole thing. I really like green onion. All right. So we have our marinade. So with the quail eggs, we want to poke them with toothpicks so that the marinade goes inside of the egg more. Since we're only here for like maybe two hours, we want to speed up the process. This is the first time that any of us are trying Hailao hot pot hacks. And hopefully it's good. Let's just pour it over the egg. Oh, it's enough, nice. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so we can just let them sit now. It changed color, it looks pretty good. I just roll it around here. Hopefully it really soaked in from all the holes that we poked. Didn't, didn't you know what? Straight. Even after poking those holes, the marinade didn't really go in. Oh. Got a little bit of flavor. How does it taste though? It doesn't taste like much. Maybe the ratio from Chef Jer was a little off. No, 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 no. I think it was the pokers, man. The pokers didn't do a good enough job. For the next hack, what we do is we grab a piece of beef, a slice, and then we're gonna unroll it. Then we're gonna grab our good old corn paste and we're gonna squeeze the line down. We're gonna spread it out. From here, we're gonna take enoki mushrooms. Rachel is the biggest enoki mushroom fan, so I know she's gonna like this hack. So, how much? However your heart desires. I'll keep it. I think I'm just gonna use my hands. And we're Tell gonna me, can't roll use chopsticks it up. without telling me you don't know how to use chopsticks. Wow. Listen. How are you supposed to roll it tight? Wow, that looks chopsticks? pretty good. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Yay! This Ooh, is cooking good. science, guys. I would say this one, as a whole, tastes better than the last one. This is pretty good. Surprisingly, I could actually bite through the gnocchi mushroom, so it was easy to eat too. Would I do it again? Probably not. It's just a lot of work. You think I'm lazy, that's all. I thought you were gonna, you know, take a bite, maybe dip it in some sauce, but, you know, that's good too. Oh. Is it raw? Yeah, bro. You can't <laughs> kill me, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> we have a three, three hour flight, man. I can't be eating this shit. I can't be eating this shit. Did you taste the texture, though? Yeah, it's slimy, bro. <laughs> it's slimy. We have a, what would this be called in English? A fried dough, 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 fritter. dough fritter. And then we're gonna grab our prawn paste one more time. Our lovely prawn paste. Opening is kind of big, this one. Damn. I'm just gonna sandwich it. That looks good. Damn. Damn. It hey. looks like a shrimp hot dog. We're just gonna drop it in. Damn. Yeah. And it's staying together, which is great. You know, after the last cash for you, kind of want to make sure it's oh. fully cooked. We made our second shrimp hot dog. We think it's ready. Let's take it out. It's a little bit of a shame because they didn't have the original one, so we had to get the salted egg dough fritters. But I like, feel like we might have washed off all the salted egg around it. The salted egg's in the inside. What's on the inside? Yeah, it's on the inside. Oh. That's how I'm like, we might have to get more, this man. This might be elite. What's wrong? I think I would have loved the dough fritters. Let's order it. Let's order it again. Not in the food. Let's order it again. No, I think it's good. The dough actually holds up. And it's still chewy and then you get like the bounciness of the shrimp. And you still get the salt egg because it's on the inside. The salt egg is like just nice. Yeah, right? It's it, it, it still comes through. All right, order another one. Ready to hit. Well, we did it. It's not a hack, but I thought it was worth just trying by itself. So I'm going to get some condensed milk. Ooh, let's see if there's a crunch. There's no crunch. There's, there's probably a crunch on, on the mic, but. Ooh. Oh, look at this. There's a melted salted egg center. Oh, that's great. 
Pretty good, right? The sweet and salty goes well. This is a dessert pack. So we got these golden buns. Usually you dip them in condensed milk, but the hack is to split them open and then put ice cream in it. Today they only had yam ice cream. It looks a little artificial, but hopefully it's good. <laughs> put it all in. Yeah, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah let's go. You go first. Let's get your reaction. It's hot. It's hot and cold. Oh, the hot and cold. Oh, your gums are going to go crazy. Mm. Yeah? It's good. Okay, what's better, the ice cream or the condensed milk? The ice cream. Oh. oh. Okay, now we go ice cream and condensed milk. Come yeah, on. that's the that's let's the recipe. Go, the recipe calls for both. Oh yeah. When I dip it in, it's like just an additional. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bun is still hot. <laughs> okay, but it's so fluffy. Stop. So just the bun and the ice cream. Why did I blow it? <laughs> Right. You'll have to try this one. This is this is a must try. Now the condensed milk. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know if I'll run the dip though. Alright, you see it? Mm. I actually really like the condensed milk. It's just more sweet and I have a sweet tooth, so what is the music going on right now? <laughs> Very good. Oh! It's time for noodles! <laughs> It's not Heidi Lau without the noodle dip! Wow! Alright guys, so that's it for the Hot Pot Hacks. Let me know which one is your favorite. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye!